What's going on and welcome on to the channel. Here's another tip video for you guys. I hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been putting out a bunch of videos on my channel all about helping you guys and that's what this is all about. If there's something that you guys need specifically in your help in your game, I know most people are not going to be getting this game until Friday, but if you do know there's something that you really need help in, in this game, leave it in the comment section down below and I have no problem making a video for you all. I hope this video helps you guys calibrate a little bit better and hopefully you can start hitting shots a little bit straighter. Let's dive right into it. I don't want to waste your time too much. So right now I'm on the practice and if you haven't played 2K21, you're new to 2K23, then this is obviously going to be very important. But if you have previously always been playing 2K21, then you already know calibrate your swing. Swing calibration is very important. You don't have to calibrate your swing every day, but once you get your calibration in a really good spot, you can leave it there until it pretty much goes off the rails. And then I always say recalibrate. I usually recalibrate about once a month, maybe once every three weeks. I don't calibrate every single day because you kind of don't really need to calibrate every single day. Just once you find a really good groove for yourself, make sure you calibrate. So let's talk about once you're calibrated, some swing cues that are very important for yourself. So a lot of people use the meter and the meter can be very good. But the problem with the meter is you lose touch with your actual physical golfer and you start honing in on the meter. And when you do that, you hone in on the on the little the perfect white spot. And what that is going to do is actually going to restrict your ability to like create a nice fluid golf swing because you're just going to be trying to get to that white spot and then turn the direction the completely other way. So I highly recommend turning the meter off, but if you don't want to turn the meter off, at least pay attention to your golfer. So let me give you some, some pointers here. Find out where the top of your backswing is. You will know where the top of your backswing is based off of where your controller starts to vibrate or wherever your whatever system you're using, it'll start to vibrate. So for me, my starts to vibrate right when it passes my shoulder, right about ear, just above ear height, right, right there. So that's where the top of my backswing is. So instead of focusing on a meter, I'm focusing on my hands getting to a certain point in my body, and that's when I can turn directions. So if I know I can get to that point, then I can hit it straight right from that point, and I know that's where 100% 100 is. I know a lot of people get caught in the whole 101, 108, 109% swings, that's great, but it's also increasing your ability to, I mean, decreasing your ability to hit perfect shots. So find out where the top of that backswing is. And what you want to do is you want to feel like a Hideki pause in this game. This game is a little bit different. You used to be able to, or in 2K21, you used to be able to get right to the top of your backswing and then start the transition. In this game, you kind of want to feel a pause at the top. So you want to feel it just for a millisecond at the top before you start pushing forward on on your joystick. So it's just slightly fast, but I got 100%, and it's just it's just a barely, and obviously this meter isn't that big. Uh, I am just doing this on pro difficulty, but you see what I'm talking about there. We got a little bit of wind in our face. Get it to a point where you're paying attention. So right now I'm just looking at to the top of my swing. Once it gets there, I start going the other direction. So that's tip number one. I'll give you guys two other main tips. The second tip is find out what your miss is. So if you're somebody who's a fast swinger, that means you're going to be missing to the left more often. Your ball is going to overdraw or hook, and you're going to be going left. If you are somebody who's a slow swinger, your ball is going to be fading or slicing hard to the right. It is better to be a fast player than it is to be a slow player. And my third tip, will, when I get to it, will eventually tell you how to become a fast player. But... Know where your miss is. So if your miss is to the right, then take out that side of the golf course, just like you would in real life. You would play a fade. So you use, for I'm on PlayStation, L1, LB if you're on Xbox, uh, PC. Obviously, you guys all have your own custom setups. But you see here, I have the true angle on. This moves it left and right. This means I want to play a fade. This means I want to play a draw. So if my miss is always usually a little bit fast, then what I want to do is I want to play a little bit of a draw. 
What that's going to do, it's going to ensure that my ball starts off to the right and allows a little bit more room to the left. And it's also going to completely take away the right side of the golf course. So you see here, I got a little bit of a draw on. And then I draw it back and I hit a perfect right down the middle. What that's doing for me, it's taking away the big miss. And that's all you want to do is eliminate the big miss. You want to just take it just a little bit off. And I hit a little bit fast there, but look, obviously the wind's taking it a little bit, but it's still not that far offline. I can play that all day of the week and I'm not going to be in the rough. I'm just going to aim down the right side of the fairway. I'm going to hit a little baby draw and it's going to pretty much come right in. Now, obviously your shaping is going to matter based off of the archetype build that you picked. I have a whole video on the best archetype builds. You can go check that out. I'll link it in the description. And, but on the other hand, if you are somebody who misses the ball to the right, which I, I don't recommend, but if you are, you just play the fade the other way. Obviously, this is going to be a pretty hard win to fade it into, but you just fade it the other way. And that would take the complete left side of the golf course out of the game for you, and you wouldn't have to worry about it. So know where your miss is. Play every shot you hit. It doesn't matter if it's a driver, a wood, uh, an iron wedge just play a smidge I'm not saying you got to go drastic but just because the more you go the, you see the meter gets smaller and smaller just a touch just like two clicks just to give you some some accuracy and some straightforwardness third and final tip depending on if you are a faster or slow player there's a, a quick fix to yourself usually most people focus on the downswing Right? So they're like, oh no, I'm super fast. I got to slow down the downswing. What that's going to do, it's going to cause even more problems. And if you're super, super slow, like I got a very slow, I got to, I got to swing harder from the top. That's not going to fix your solution either. What you need to do actually is focus on your backswing. So if I'm somebody who has a slow swing, right? I'm somebody, I have to speed up this backswing. I have to swing it back faster, pull the stick back faster. What that's going to do, it's going to create a fast swing for you. And if you are the opposite, you're somebody who's swinging too fast and you need to slow it down, just pull back slightly and you still hit a little bit of a fast. I'm a fast player. You can clearly tell I'm a fast player. But that's essentially when I get too quick, it's because there we go. And now you get a little bit of a slow because I slowed down the backswing. This this tempo is very difficult in this game. It, it's much harder than it was in 2K21. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you are prioritizing your situation for the best success. And that's shot shaping. Give yourself a little bit of a shot shape. Know what your backswing speed is and when you need to top it off. And pay attention to your golfer. Don't focus so much on the meter. Pay attention to your golfer. Pay attention to the shot shape and you'll be hitting straight shots in no time, and you're scoring lower, playing on harder difficulties, and everything will line up for you. I hope you guys like this tip. I have complete videos on all sorts of data, all sorts of best archetype builds, as well as live stream and gameplay. So make sure you're liked and subscribed and check out my other videos. If there's anything you need help with, that's what this channel's all about, leave a comment down below, and I'm happy to make a video for you. Check you guys out later. Thanks for watching.